Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Airbus Helicopters buys Aravel. X-59 Quest unveiled for the first time. And Sirius Aviation AG proposes hydrogen VTOL aircraft. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight. From electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Airbus Helicopters buys Aravel. Airbus Helicopters and Aravel have signed an agreement that will bring Aravel into the Airbus fold. The new acquisition will add Aravel's flex rotor to the Airbus portfolio, falling neatly into the company's desire to strengthen its portfolio of tactical unmanned solutions. The flex rotor platform is a small tactical UAS designed for intelligence, surveillance, target acquisition, and reconnaissance missions at sea and over land. Its vertical takeoff and landing capability and 50-plus pound max gross allow for 12 hours of endurance in typical configuration. A variety of payloads and electro-optics can be installed for a variety of missions. Bruno Evans, CEO of Airbus Helicopters, said, quote, We are looking forward to welcoming Aravel into the Airbus family. This strategic acquisition aligns with our vision to expand our UAS offerings and respond to a growing customer demand worldwide for additional mission capabilities, such as manned and unmanned teaming. Aravel's expertise in autonomous flight technology will undoubtedly complement our UAS development with the VSR-700, as well as the work that we have been doing to develop interoperability. Ali Dian, CEO of Aravel, said, quote, Joining forces with Airbus will allow us to scale innovation, accelerate our mission to advance unmanned aviation, and maintain our unwavering support for the U.S. military and its allies, end quote. And after the break, DJI issues winter flying guidelines for drones. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. DJI issues winter flying guidelines for drones. DJI Enterprise's winter flying guide aims to show fly for pay operators how to make the coldest months of the year just as profitable as the rest. Their commercial drone lineup is made up of hardier stock than the rest of their fun-oriented civilian gear. All the usual tips for electronic devices apply to wintertime drone operations, like keeping the batteries as warm as possible, minimizing high output power demands, and letting it idle for a while to bring its motors up to operating temperature. Aerodrones Exhibition Returns to Friedrichshafen Friedrichshafen, Germany announced the return of a three-day trade fair devoted to uncrewed aircraft and their infrastructure named Aerodrones. The exhibition will run from April 17th to 19th, 2024, as the, quote, ideal platform for drone providers and operators to present their products and services to an expert audience, end quote. Aero Friedrichshafen says it has already been collecting registrations from the movers and shakers in the UAV market. Leading players in this up-and-coming aviation segment have already registered. Zero Avia Inc.'s deal with Scottish Power 
Zero Avia has embarked on an agreement with UK power specialist Scottish Power, moving forward to, quote, develop low-carbon hydrogen supply to key airport locations, end quote. In addition to infrastructure development, the duo will explore airport hydrogen supply models as financing, as well as, quote, clean power requirements and hydrogen production infrastructure for potential future Zero Avia sites, end quote. Scottish Power will aim to provide suitable locales under its purview inside Scotland, Northwest England, and North Wales. Vapor 55MX packs anti-armor wallop in tiny package. AeroVironment completed a multi-drop live-fire exercise using guided strike munitions, proving the fighting capability of their Vapor 55MX UAV. The little drone fired off a handful of four missiles, each one delivering a 40mm anti-armor warhead. The Shrike pseudo-missiles offer a low-signature, lightweight munition to mission planners. Using glide performance to maneuver themselves to the target sands the heat and racket a traditional missile motor would create. That's it for today's Next Gen Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Exegy 9 Quest unveiled for the first time. No more CGI for the next-gen X-Plane from NASA and Lockheed Martin, now that the duo has finally debuted the quiet supersonic aircraft live in the metal. The X-59 Quest aircraft is a demonstrator to bear out the possibility of supersonic flight without the sonic booms. If successful, the concept will revolutionize public air travel with a whole new niche of high-flying, fast-moving supersonic aircraft. The Concorde took a swing at the supersonic passenger craft idea, but it ultimately died a slow, expensive market death as its destination limited its performance to reduce noise on the ground. That apparently ended supersonic passenger carriage for good, but new money, new ideas, and fresh materials lie ready and waiting to take another crack at the market. NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy was joined by brass from Lockheed and NASA at a ceremony revealing the Quest demonstrator at the former Skunk Works facility in Palmdale, California. The aircraft, if successful, won't necessarily be completely free of sonic booms, however. NASA wants to reduce the effect of the supersonic crack with sculpting, shaping, and materials placement that will slough off and delay the transition to supersonic along the body of the aircraft. And after these messages, Sirius Aviation AG proposes hydrogen VTOL aircraft. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows, actually. So. Ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Welcome back. Sirius Aviation AG proposes hydrogen VTOL aircraft. Swiss aviation startup Sirius Aviation AG has proposed their new Sirius jet, which might become the world's first hydrogen-powered VTOL aircraft. The Sirius jet is described as a high-performance zero-emission VTOL aircraft propelled by a hydrogen electric propulsion system. The company boasts of expectations that include extended flight distances, impressive speeds, and high altitudes at near silent levels. Aiming for 2025, the Sirius jet may take flight in two versions, Sirius Business Jet, tailored to private jet needs, and the Sirius Millennium Jet, crafted for commercial aviation. Sirius jet specifications include on the Sirius Business Jet, a zero-emission hydrogen-powered VTOL business jet featuring an 1,150-mile flight range, cruise speed of 323 miles per hour, altitude capability of 30,000 feet, ultra-quiet noise level of 60 decibels, and accommodates three passengers. And on the Sirius Millennium Jet, a zero-emission hydrogen-powered VTOL commercial aircraft offering a 650-mile flight range, cruise speed of 323 miles per hour, altitude capability of 30,000 feet, sound footprint of 60 decibels, and accommodates up to five passengers. Sirius Aviation AG has disclosed partnerships with BMW Group's Design Works, Sauber Group, along with Alfleth Engineering AG and ALD Group. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.